Hello guys and welcome back to another video and um, in today's video we are going to be scripting a tapping simulator. Um, yes you can already see I've got the I've got um, a GUI already set up um, because it just takes too long whenever I try to do this so yeah let's get into the video. So first thing we're going to first need is um, wage stats so let's get this in first. So some this in a bit. Um, game dot players dot local player dot player added. Oh no, game dot players are game dot players dot player added colon connect function player local user stats equals instance instance dot new and then we're going to do let's say folder yeah and then we're going to put that into player. Um, look up uh, lead stats dot name equals let's say lead stats. Right now we're gonna need uh, taps equals uh, instance. Oh, hold on, instance dot new, and then we're gonna do int value and player. These little commas is like putting in. So we're going to get the folder, and we're going to put it in player, and we're going to make an in value and put it in player. And this taps uh, dot n taps dot name equals taps dot name equals taps, and then taps dot value is set to zero. And we're also going to get rebirth. So let's get this in. Value and player, and then rebirth, not repeat. Rebirth dot name equals rebirth, and then rebirth dot value is equal to zero. All right. Next, we're going to set up this button here. But first of all, we're going to need to go into replicate storage, make a folder, call it events. And then we're going to put in a remote event in that, and we're going to call it tap event. And we're going to rename this script here to leader stats. Alright. And we're going to make a new script called events. Events. Alright. Now, let's do local. Um, events equals game dot replicate storage con find find first wait no 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 and dot replicate storage dot events and then we're gonna do local tap event equals events con find first child and we're going to tap event here. Alright, now this is the fun part. So, every single time it's clicked, we're going to do player dot leader stats dot taps dot value equals player dot leader stats dot taps value plus one and then we're going to times it by rebirths or you can actually or you can uh done player dot leader stats dot rebirths or you could do plus if you wanted to yeah but we're going to do rebirths oh zero should say oh there's uh whatever Ugh. okay so we've got that um <coughs> We'll add a rebirth button uh, later in the day. Probably replace one of these things here. Yeah. Alright, uh, so we're going to do this tap thingy here. And we're going to do the taps info. Not taps info, not that. Uh, taps frame pop up. We're going to hide that for now. 
okay and then we're going to go into tap get a local script and then go to script.parent.mouse button and click on connect function connect function and then we're going to oh, simply simply local player equals game dot players dot local player and then uh game dot replicate stores dot events dot tap event con fire server alright so that's gonna fire that will be tapping then and then we're also going to do we could do debounce. I'm not really sure though if I should do it. We're going to do uh, local pop up equals script dot parent dot parent dot stats frame pop up pop up dot visible equals true. Wait, wait. Now let's see. Wait one seconds. Pop up visible equals false all right so it's two, two, 2 seconds now let's see if this works so far yikes why is it not worked <laughs> why huh uh with all the errors, bruh. Fail to load sound. I'm not trying to load any sound. That's Roblox sounds. Weird. Uh. Why are you getting that? What? Ah. Uh. Eh. Huh? Huh? Weird. Uh, give the players the player added colon connect function. Local lead stats equals instance dot new in the folder. Player, let's see. Uh, lead stats not name equals lead stats. Tabs, rebirths. Uh, should be fine. Let me just try one more time. Try one more time here. Ah. Figured out the problem. Sorry. It's leader stats. Here. Leader stats. Sorry, guys. Whoops. Um, so that's that bit fixed. There we go. I don't know what's with all these errors. I'm just going to leave them for now. So, I should... Well, that bit pops up, but it's not giving me money. Uh, huh. Hmm. server event player dot status dot taps value dot value plus one times zero um hmm huh, I'm done let's change that to one here Okay. Ah, there we go. That would be the problem. Right, well, it works now. Okay. Just have to have you reverse that one. Okay. Tap. Yeah, we're going to set up these now. Just give me one second. We're also going to set up the codes and then we're going to do shop and then settings we're going to do the shop 
and um, the settings in our next video and this one here tabs I don't know why my, that's not loaded and we're going to do rebirth in the next another video okay um, if you want more anyways that is <laughs> so let's get into tabs amount local script local player equals game dot players dot local player while wait do um script dot parent dot text equals um nothing and then we're gonna do so taps uh, player dot leader stats dot taps dot value test it out. Right, there we go, works. Now we do the exact same for rebirths. Local player equals game dot players dot local player and then a while wait the Script dot parent dot text equals player dot leader stats dot reverse dot the value. Right, that should be that. All right, there we go. So we've got the reverse that icon. I still have to find an icon. So, um, yeah, this game will also uh, be uncopy locked, maybe. No, I'll just keep. I'll have a model to all this stuff in the description. So yeah, if you did enjoy this, make sure like subscribe, turn on notifications on, and I will see you all in the next session of my video. Goodbye.